Hey guys, welcome to the first ever video I have for Clash Royale. And here we are. Uh, I'm going to just uh, open up a chest here. Oh, what happened? There we go. I have one of those to go. I am a free to play player. Nobody even cares. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to start unlocking that one. I guess I'll donate some cards here. Um, Alright, uh, the deck I'm playing with today, not this one. I'm playing with this one that is a... Uh, it's like a golem. Uh, you have the golem for tank, and then kind of the uh, surprise hogs. Uh, and of course the clone, which works really well with the evils and the bats. So, let's see how I can do. Probably gonna fail real bad. And if I'm lucky, my phone will not crash, because it does that. Alright. So, I kind of like to go hogs first to flush out Mega Knights, if there are Mega Knights. Um, it kind of prevents that punish play from happening. Okay, oh no, oh no, we might be dead here. Oh no, oh no. Alright, at least I got the princess on that one. A little bit of damage done, not too bad, but oh dear, oh dear me. The punish play, here we go. It's gonna punish with the, uh... Okay. Well, mm, I hope that, that ended quickly. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And he's gonna take out my other tower while he's at it. Excellent, excellent. I still got this, I still got this, I still got this, um, oh man, oh, hmm, yeah, um, I just have to log both of those, oh, uh, okay, okay, we got this, uh, we're gonna do raw hogs in this direction, oh, you missed, <laughs> oh boy, I gotta cycle back to my golem, before he jumps to the, uh, he jumped to the tower. Uh, I'm gonna put my going back, cause why not? Uh, uh, I'm not gonna the uh, crying log emote. All right, oh and one. We got this. We got this. All right. Um. You know, sometimes you just gotta like warm up by losing one. That's how it works. Alright, so there's that. I'm gonna send my hogs out the back to flush out a tank. Now, with, so with this deck, you kind of have to play defensively. Alright, I wish I had my login cycle. I do not. Uh, so E-Ways this side. Spear Goblins this side to kind of deal with that. I should mitigate most of it. He's gonna log that. I'm gonna get my going down before he can get the princess locked onto the tower. Then I'm gonna log the princess. Well, wait, wait for it. Don't log the princess just yet. See what else he puts down. I'm gonna just drop a mega minion and a clone. And can I hit the princess from there? I think so. Alright, 
Alright. Still hanging on. Still hanging on. Uh oh. He just flushed out my log. That's the problem with log bait. They get you. They get you with the log. Alright. 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 Not so good. Not so good. <clears throat> okay. Once again, I'm going to try to flush out his tank or whatever. I guess he doesn't really have a tank, but... Okay, so he's going that side with that one. I'm going to drop going down this side. I'm going to go E-Ways behind his support. Oh man, I really need that to... I need the log for the princess. Man, I need the log for the princess. Okay, okay, I see ya, I see ya. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go... No, forget that. I don't think he's got me. I think, I think I'm gonna lose pretty badly this time. Alright, alright. So, here we go, here we go. And then, then there's that, so... Did, did I have a chance? I mean, did I? I don't know. He's got all the hard counters. He or she. I, I don't want to be sexist here. Um, alright, alright. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, th I think that that was kind of a hard counter deck. Well, let's just let's give it, give it a little more. And uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I've seen people do this. They like do this taffy thing. They're like do 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 do. It's it's more fun that way. Okay. This one, I might have a little bit better chance. Where's the, what kind of wizard is he using, though? That's the question. If we're talking, like, regular wizard, like, fire wizard, I'm in trouble. Hmm. Okay, okay. I think we might be all right here. I think we might, okay, no, he does have the fire wizard. Okay, so, yeah, we're dead then. Yeah, I'm not going to clone there. That would be uh, a waste of elixir. Okay. I'm gonna go Royal Hogs to distract the Royal Ghost. I'm gonna drop some bats to deal with that. Okay, and now I'm dead. Okay, alright. Um, let's see here. Okay, and then I think I can log all this back and only take a couple more hits uh, from the uh, Hog Rider there. Okay, alright, um, hmm. <clears throat> alright, next, so what we're gonna do here, we got a plan, I got a plan, because you gotta give them one tower, just to kind of get, get their, get in their head a little bit, and then the set that there, totally ignoring that, that's cool, that's not like big damage here, that's just a little bit of damage, uh, I'm going to drop down the E-Waves here behind that, and then maybe try a clone, if I can get a clone down. Oh no, no, don't! I needed that E-Wizard. Alright, whatever. And my game crashed. This happens. Alright, let's try again. Try again. Oh. Alright, we got this. We still got this. Uh, have you guys noticed that? With the game crashing? Like, my game crashes. So. Um, alright. And I think we may have lost this one. Let's see if we can just drop a sneaky hogs clone. Ah, uh -huh, I almost had oh, I almost had it. I almost did. Alright. If only those things wouldn't have taken away the, the bats. Okay. So what is this? Three now? I got defeat, defeat, defeat. Okay, all right. We can... We, we can get one. This is, this is legit. So. 
you know, unfortunately, this this deck was like really good last meta, like it really really good. I mean, I was winning. I was I had I was higher in trophies I think that I've ever been, and it was really good. And I don't know what happened, but everybody started playing with these wizards because of all the clone decks, and then it's almost like it got nerfed mid season, and I tilted and went really far down in trophies. And then I, I redeemed myself, and I thought, oh, okay, well maybe, maybe this is still a legit deck here. Maybe, it, maybe it's still uh, viable. <sighs> okay, I'm just soak up that damage. That's cool. I like soaking up damage. Damage, damage soaking is fun. I'm gonna clean that because I think he may have gone a little bit too much, too uh, aggressive with that push. And that should take care of the Skarmy. Should get a few more punches in there. I'm gonna log that because like I don't like any more damage than I have to take. Oh boy, I should have saved the log for the princess. Cause then this happens. Give me one more zap. There we go. Not royal hogs this because that I don't really have any other option. They're kind of a nice option for drawing things away when you need it drawn away. You kind of have to play defensively with the hogs because they're your only other tank. The only, uh, so... Okay, so now I can tank with a golem. He's probably going to do something like that. Yeah, like that. I'm going to, um, I'm going to bats this lane. I'm going to e down here. I'm gonna drop some spear goblins and then clone as soon as they get close enough. There we go. So that's how this deck is supposed to be played. If I wasn't playing like a like a nub, I would be I would be much better position at this point here. Okay, E ways to defend. Okay. Now, now I got the right rotation here. Yes! <laughs> I got one. Oh man. one. So, oh, I, I completed a quest. Nice. Cool. Alright. Goal is to get two. Goal is to get two. Let's see here. What can we do? What can we do? Hmm. Good luck to our friend up there. This is an interesting starting hand. Okay, oh, he's got a musketeer, so is this some sort of like a hog cycle, or... Everybody's playing with a lumberjack these days. Why is everybody playing... Oh no, oh no, I didn't play it far enough forward. Whoops. Okay. This is the pro plays you can expect from me every single day. Oh, but that was good, that was pretty good. Yes, get to the tower. Get to the tower. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, so this is the situation in which you, all you have are hogs. So you want to split them at the back. Um, e is up here to kind of distract that. Hopefully we can mitigate damage. And... Okay, okay. So now we have uh, now we have this back in rotation, but I, it still has to charge, so this is the vulnerable point. But hopefully he's vulnerable at this point too, so uh, I don't really... I don't count cards like some people do. I, I try to, but I'm, I'm still... I, I don't know how to count cards. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, drop a golem at the back. Drop a golem at the back. 
that's that is essential oh dear okay um this is why we have the hogs because we need to kind of distract some things and get him as far away from our tower as we can oh dear that may be a dead tower that just might be i'm gonna clean this anyway though for extra damage it, when you when you clone it, it gets you it gives like an extra explosion or two. Um, okay, okay. Uh, oh dear, uh, I'm seeing same deal. Um, no wait, why am I doing that? Uh, uh, play the wrong card. Uh oh. Um, okay, okay, we got this. We got this. Uh, Electro lizard here. Gonna clone this anyways, so I can get the two e wizards. Gonna ignore that for now, maybe drop a mega minion to kill him a little faster so he doesn't destroy my tower. I'm gonna log both of these. Uh, okay, so we got a little bit of damage. That's not bad. Okay, so now I got this in rotation to deal with the Mega Knight. He got a little too jumpy with that. If he would have just waited, I would have played the Golem and then he could have Mega Knight punished. I'm gonna do a Lector Wizard that should slow him down enough so he doesn't get much damage. Um, I'm gonna log that. Oh dear. Oh man. This is bad. Alright, so I'm gonna do one of these surprise attacks here. Since he's all out of... That should take that tap. Oh, maybe not quite. Oh man. I should be... If I can log this tower, I'll get one. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I tell you what, those those Mega Knight decks are the hardest to fight this with. Cause okay, so the minute you drop your Golem, like you do something, no matter how you play it, they can punish you off the lane because you need the Golem. The Golem is the only thing they can tank for the Mega Knight. Uh, so. Yeah, those ones are the hardest. Uh, you know what? I don't know how long I've been going here for. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do one more. Why not, right? I mean, I'm all warmed up. And uh, I'm probably going to lose this one. So, my luck has run out. But I'll wish him good luck anyway. Good luck. To Fico from CRO Predators. Um, I guess I'll Royal Hogs. I need to get back to my Golem because I don't have any, I don't have anything I can destroy the Golem with. But then he's probably going to Mega Knight that or something, so I'm in trouble. I have really bad rotation at the beginning here, so we're going to just do that. I'm going to hit this up here, hopefully. And you know what? We might be, <laughs> we're actually doing okay, considering. Okay, so, all right, so now I got my going back in rotation. Okay. That's that's always the risky play with this deck. You gotta get, like, the card rotation really screw you over. Like, some decks, you, you know, you can kind of wing it with any card rotation. This one, if you don't have your going in rotation when you start, you are in trouble. So, it's, it's just a race to try to get the going back in rotation. Oh, and he countered it with Mega Knight right as I cloned it, too. Which means his Mega Knight's dead. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to see. Okay, so he does have Mega Knight, so this is going to be one of those stereotypical tough matchups. Okay, so what I'm going to do, Royal Hogs in the back, Royal Hogs in the back. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do uh, E-Wiz up here. That should take care of those. Maybe. Oh man, he's gonna get a lot of damage there. There's not really any good way around that. All right, so I got my got my going back into rotation. He's probably gonna Mega Knight that. He's not gonna Mega Knight that. Is he waiting for my Golem? What What are you doing, man? I mean, Charlie's back in rotation. He's gonna wait for me. He's trying to flush out my Mega Knight. 
or my golem. He's gonna have to. F <clears throat> Maybe he's just playing uh, switching to cycle. He's switching to cycle mode. Yeah, see that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna try to like cycle my. So I'm gonna do that there. He's probably gonna probably gonna Mega Knight that. If I know Mega Knight players. Oh, he's gonna yeah, because he has that too. That's cool too. Alright, so <clears throat> put the keyways down over there. That should go down pretty easily. We're gonna clone this here. And then we're gonna hogs up front, and I think we might have this. <clears throat> Okay, um, so now you know what not to do and uh, what to do. So there you go. There's some uh, good, good, uh, some bad playing and some good playing. So you've seen both. Um, okay, so basically, we go over strategy one more time with this deck. It's kind of hit or miss, unfortunately. It's weak against wizards and stuff. So what you want to do, you want to get a golem down. And then you kind of want to wait out to see what they're answering with. So you kind of tank for something, like if you get a bandit, put down the golem and tank. Let your tower take it down. I mean, golem's got a lot of health. So once it crosses the bridge, you're going to try to put down, you know, they're going to start throwing units at it. That's when you have to make a decision to put down, like, you know, do you want to go e -Wiz? do you want to go, you know, Spear dogs. I mean, uh, whatever you want to do, it's it's not my choice. It's your choice. Uh, so, and then uh, you know, of course, you kind of want to save your log for the cleanup, the important stuff like princess, um, anything that's going to destroy your tower if you don't hit it with the log, like skeletons, and then try to uh, try to hit the. Uh, Mega Minion, get a, get a Mega Minion in on the clone, that's always good. Mega Minion going clone is good. Uh, Ewe is going clone, pretty strong. Bats going clone. If you can get, if you can get two units, like a, a like a, so uh, the downside of using the bats, um, okay, so if you do the bats, bats going clone, uh, Sometimes they'll zap, so you gotta be careful when you're using these like other weak unit. Whoops, these weak units here. I mean, because they also will take a good amount of damage in the zap. So sometimes, like, sometimes it's better to put your bats out, bait out the zap, and uh, and then put something else down and then clone. I don't know. I've had mixed results with all of that. But the nice thing about the golem is like you can put down the golem. Do the clone. Sometimes that will even take out a minion horde just just the, by the clone golem explosion. Then you have a, a golem with full health that can just kind of mosey on toward the tower as you throw other units at it, and they've just spent five elixir trying to defend. Whereas when cloning for three elixir for a minion horde, I mean that's pretty good positive elixir trade. So there you have it. That's this deck. It is a it is a very weird. Uh, off meta deck. I don't know what the meta is doing right now. So there you go. I will catch you guys next time. Hopefully with a better deck, and hopefully I will win some more next time. So take care, and um, have a good one.